The California man behind bars this morning for setting a string of fires targeting the groomsmen from his wedding. It all happened after his marriage fell apart, and ABC's Gio Benitez is here with the story. Good morning, Gio. George, good morning to you. That man is now speaking out from jail, denying the charges and suggesting he could have been set up. But police say the evidence shows he's the arsonist who nearly hurt all of his former friends. A groom who says he was scorned, leading to accusations of a bizarre trail of property scorched. This morning, 33-year-old Joshua Van Buskirk is in a Martinez, California jail after police say he confessed to an arson spree, allegedly fueled by anger after his divorce. Among his targets, three of his own groomsmen. He's accused of throwing Molotov cocktails at their homes and cars, leaving behind a twisted clue, Joker cards, just like in the Batman movie. Leaves a calling card. Suspected arson one in October. A groomsman's truck. Gasoline poured on the hood and set on fire. Suspected arson two, December 23rd. Another groomsman's truck lit on fire. Christmas Eve, a groomsman's fence catching on fire. Extinguished before reaching the house. And that same night, Van Buskirk's longtime friend's garage door set on fire. Thankfully, not reaching the rest of the house with the wife and kids inside. Well, what really broke the case were the cards. Van Buskirk arrested Christmas Eve. Police telling ABC News he confessed to all of the arsons. In a jailhouse interview with Fox station KTVU, Van Buskirk says he's innocent, though he does say he was upset with his friends after his divorce. I'm here because within the last three to four months of me going through all of this turmoil in my life, they haven't been there for me. Police say they found plenty of evidence at Van Buskirk's house and that they have the right joker in jail. I honestly believe if we didn't get him in custody that the other people on that list would have been victims of arson as well. And his ex-wife could not be reached for comment, but he faces four arson-related charges, among others. Though police say he did admit to setting the fires when he was arrested, he is now pleading not guilty, held on a $2.1 million bail. Meanwhile, those groom groomsmen, they all say, we have no idea why we were targeted. Oh, this is a strange one. It really That's is. That's right. Mm -hmm. all right. Thanks, Thanks to you.